As we go now to five red lights, no one giving a margin, but in the end, Leclerc is diving into the pit lane, as are we on this lap. To fit a set of medium compound tires to go to the end of the race and into the pit lane. Well, what? What? What on earth has happened? We have wing damage. The safety car has been deployed. Um, in the pit lane, maybe, Jeff? I wonder what these marshals here are thinking. Like, what is this idiot doing? What? I'm not... This is the weirdest pit lane glitch I have ever freaking seen. Um... Um, I I have no words for this guy. I have no words. I have no words, lads. Absolutely none. The game just decided to glitch out. The games have chosen now to glitch out to all hell. And I don't get it. The game just chosen to glitch out? What? I was aware a glitch like this did exist. But this is the first time it's ever happened to me. Although, mind you, the game is still... It's not even been over a month yet. God, is this game seriously not even been over a month yet? But as we slowly make our way down the pit lane, we're now 30 seconds back from Latifi. This is our race. Pretty much ruined. And he goes straight past the pit box. What? Oh, what is this? This is a disaster. I spoke about... This race being a nightmare in 2020 season one, and we're just out there, out back onto the track, um, with no front wing and diffuser damage as well. On top of that, we have diffuser damage as well. You can see a little bit. And let's try this one more time. Let's try this one more time, going in nice and carefully, and there it goes again. Oh, this glitch. We're not going to be able to make a pit stop with no front wing. This is race over. There's nothing we can do here. This is race over, lads. Race done. Dusted. I can't do anything more. Uh, who knew a pit lane glitch would be my downfall this race? I didn't expect this at all. We have a real opportunity at Q3. We've gotten half a second quicker as we cross the line now. We go second quickest overall. And in the end, we are through into Q3 for the first time. Come on, boys. Come on. Come back onto the pit straight and we'll cross the line and we'll go seventh fastest to end up with in the first, with that lap. And that is where we qualified. But while we qualified P7, that is not where we're going to be starting the race. We have a 15-place grid penalty. We go to five red lights for the Italian Grand Prix in season one. They're out and we're underway and it is a banging start for us. We're already past both Al a Williams and Alpha and Alpha Romeo. We've made the run down towards turn one. We dive it down the inside, three wide with Stroll and um, Vettel, I think that, no, Perez and Vettel that is. Or Perez and Stroll, Perez is definitely there. I um, mean, it was Stroll as well. I think Vessel was side by side with someone else. There was a lot of people three, three, three by three back there. As we're side by side with Perez around the curve of Grande. Can we get this move done into Del Rogia? We dive down into the corner and we get the position. We've gone from P19. We went from P19 to P8 in one chicane. What a friggin' start to the race. What a start we've had, boys. What a start we've had, lads. For Del Rogia, we're going to pull to the inside for the two Lesmos. We go down the inside and we are through and up into 7th place. But this is what's been happening with us. We finally closed up quite considerably to Yuki Tsunoda. And here at the first chicane, we're going to dive down on the inside. And we're going to go for the double move. We go deep into the chicane. Tsunoda gets about to three abreast a little bit. We get the move done and up into 5th place. To perhaps go for something down the main straight. As around the power of Bolica, he loses it. Lando Norris is around. What a, what a camera angle, Cody's. Which is going to promote also for place in the fourth. So we were fighting for fifth. Now we're going to be fighting for fourth. Um, as we're going to come home onto the star finish right for, like I said, a pretty incredible P4 finish. From P19 on the grid, we finished P4. What a race result. What a race result that's been. Five lights ahead of us for the Singapore Grand Prix. They are out. We're underway. And it's a decent start. The first getaway. But we're going to lose the rear end a bit. Which means, well, we don't get quite as good of a start as I thought we did. Now down through the first couple of corners. A bit touchy-touchy with some of the cars. We get an illegal overtake on Russell. 
We have the hand to visit you back for three wide up ahead. We've seen Mazpin, Raikkonen and Alonso. We're going to squeeze down the middle of Sonoda and Russell through turn five, I believe that is. And we are through past them up into whatever place we're fighting over. I can't even remember what place we're fighting over. Um, as Alonso and Mazbin are wheel-to-wheel -wheel ahead of us, as we dive down the inside of Raikkonen and Russell follows us through there. We're going to go down the inside of two cars for a double overtake there past Mazbin and Alonso. And we are up now into P13, I believe. Um, Gasly just ahead of us in P12 there behind Ricardo, and I'm pretty sure that is our teammate. Just ahead of Daniel Ricardo as we head over the Anderson Bridge and down towards the hair, but we go down the inside of Gasly and we're up into 12th position um, and maybe try score some points. Um, as down the inside we go, we bang wheels a little bit, he gets a little bit out of shape through the corner, but no damage done. We are now past him up into 11th place. Our teammates up next on medium compound tires. So, um, Esteban Ocon is up next into the break and then we dive down the inside. What a move, what a move. Past Ocon up into ninth place. Um, and down into, down into turn one. Can we do the same thing in the stroll that we did to Ocon just a few laps ago? Down the inside of the Canadian. We go off the track, but we come back on and that was some move. That was a brilliant move dive bomb to the inside. Can we make a dive to the inside of the head? Into the braking zone, we dive bomb both of them. What a move that was. Um, but we're in Q3 and we will actually be starting in the top 10 this time. For the first time, we've made it to Q3 and we will be starting inside the top 10 because we have no grid penalties, none whatsoever. Um, but we're later in the session. I've not done a run yet. Everybody else has. This is my first run on, a f on my final fresh set of soft compound tires. Um, and it's not been my- oh, it's not been my worst run through the first sector, but it's not been my best run either. Um, but it's, it's not been too terrible. It's not been too terrible. I'm getting a lot more used to the circuit now, and I did do a bit of practice for this race, admittedly, or for recording. I did do quite a bit of practice in this race, on this race, doing a bit of time trial, uh, some Grand Prix. <clears throat> oh, by the way, while I'm writing about it, slight screw up, I never noticed that before going into this, I never noticed before going into until after the race. Um, however, it turns out that for some reason, starts are set to assisted, and I do not know how long they've been set to that. And damage is set to reduce and not standard, which is what I normally have. I normally have it set to, to manual starts and standard damage and hard fuel mode, but now it's gone assisted, easy, reduced. But we come around the final corner now, big extension of the track there, out the penultimate corner. We cross the line, we go third fastest! What another lap! Brilliant lap from us, and we stay third! How we have finessed ourselves onto the second row of the grid. How? I do not know. For the race, as um, we head to five lights, are going to be on for the Mexican Grand Prix. They're out. We're racing, and it is a very tentative start from us. Um, uh, maybe not my best choice, um, as we send one down the inside of Mick Schumacher right on the gearbox of our team and we're looking for a way past hopefully Callum will not make this too difficult once again we go down the inside uh this right hander here and we are ahead and into p16 and we got a great run out of there heading down the straight deploying ers and it is a very easy pass on nicholas latifi um he's defending the inside we're going to take the outside line and we're going to breathe around dance it around the Williams car up into P14. They Meanwhile, yet, but, uh, we've seen a problem at our end. We're looking into it. Oh, of course, you've seen a problem. It's not good news, I'm afraid. Seems like an engine issue. Well, what kind of engine issue, Jeff? Um, uh, and he's pulling off. Sainz is out of the Grand Prix. Carlos Sainz retiring from the race with a mechanical failure. Um, and the virtual safety car has been deployed because of it. That's the first, I think that's the first time we've seen the VSC this series. Um, as well, it's still out here. I believe the safety car is just about to come in here. Um, just about, I think. And we have a drive through penalty for speeding under VSC. You guys saw that the timer, right? The, 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 the VSC is gone, by the way. We're racing again. Less until lap 15, the latest we could leave it, really, to serve this penalty. We were meant to originally box on lap, um, 
the two laps time lap 18 but we're gonna come in two laps early maybe see if we can get a bit of an undercut going so we have to absolutely just go for it now and get our fruit down um, or maybe he was in the pits already. I'm not entirely sure, but we will gain a couple more positions here from people coming out of the pit lane. Um, one of them being our teammate who we will just get on the straight and we will have to re-overtake Nicholas Latifi, which we will be looking to do rather rapidly. Hopefully we can do that later this lap in, in that same place where we seem to be making all our overtakes um, at the end of this twisty sector here into sector three into the right hand or just up ahead here we're blowing ERS and we're gonna send it down the inside of the Williams at this corner once again and that is moved on back up into P15 um, Lance Stroll is up next he's not making moves on George Russell so we're gonna send it on him at this corner well we never sent it on him there to begin with but we sent it there on him now um, but we just ahead of um, Lance Stroll as Nikita Mazepin is now out the session uh, also with a mechanical failure and here's the safety car coming out this time the safety car is coming in Just as we catch up to the field. Oh, you could not have timed that any better But the safety car is coming in at the end of this lap We have a chance of points here on the curb. We're right on his gearbox pushing him through almost As we deploy to me to try and keep closer to him And we're gonna switch to the inside and dive down the inside here once again and that is job done to go for the move and pulling a bit of ERS. Which way is he going to defend? He's going to defend towards the inside. We're going to pull to the outside and we're going to dance it round the Frenchman in the Italian car. And that is another position. That is P11 up for the taking. We'll be getting a nice slipstream off him as well. Maybe as we get, a, if we bang tires, as we get a brilliant run out onto this back straight uh, red in sector two, though. Um, as we take P10, no problem, up into the points paying position from the back of the grid, despite um, we do get the fastest lap at some point in this race, I can tell you that right now. We go to the inside of the Aston Martin, and that is P9 for the taking, um, as we are in prime position to get past Checo Perez here. Taking all the liberties of the track limits, we've got deploying ERS. This is our last chance to get past the American and get P8. We dive down the inside at the right hander, and that's moved on. Move made. That is P8 for our, for the taking. What a comeback drive that's been for us. Um, and Red Bull, well, at least for stop, and no looking too terrible this time. Uh, but we're here in Q3 um, for our run. Um, it's later in the session, not set of time yet, everyone else has, I only had one set of tires, so just, you know what, let's just go for one run, see where we can put this in, we're purple in the first sector, that's a brilliant way to start off, we have a great car for qualifying it seems like, these last few races, I've shown we really have a good qualifying car, uh, but it's just in the race, the pace doesn't always seem to be quite good as we fire into the middle sector here, this twisty technical part of the track um, of this um, Interlago circuit here in Brazil. Um, just trying to get through the corner cleanly. No lockups, no spins, no wheel spins as we head towards the end of sector two here. What's it going to be for the middle sector? It's not purple. We have 49.8 so far over the lap. Um, run up the hill now as we just came out of the penultimate corner with the track to ourselves at the moment it is all ours as we open the DRS onto the start finish straight we made the run up the hill keeping close to the wall and we cross the line and we go quickest overall with a 1 minute 5.8 what a lap that was it's quick enough in the end for P2 um, so the curves here a wee bit lethal the about two tenths up on our beds We lose the back end a little bit and we spin it around Spectacularly we hit the wall. We lose our front wing oh, What a spin around that was it. What did I say though about first of all the curves and second of all me struggling in Australia season one Look at listen to the crowd cheering as I span um, as um, Well, we loaded to here and what? I'm sorry. What is that? We're in what? We're in Abu Dhabi! Why is it raining? We're in Abu Dhabi! It's in the middle of the friggin' desert! It's raining for qualifying? We're, we're in Abu Dhabi! What? Yes, yeah, raining in Abu Dhabi, apparently. Um, it's still very cold here on the R&D, but to, with Alfa Romeo and Alfa Tauri, and it's fucking raining in Abu Dhabi! Ladies and gents, it is raining in Abu Dhabi! Because you can't change the weather in my team. You kind of change it. You get what you you get what you're given for the weather. So it's just randomly generated rain for qualifying, 
in, uh, in Abu Dhabi, the middle of the desert. What? Oh, this game sometimes. So we have a, an intermediate condition Q1. It wasn't mad for retirement. It was mad for wing damage. Oh my God, the wing damage in this race. Look at this, look at this. Four different, four pit stops for Ocon, Sonoda, and Norris. Three for Leclerc. Not many warnings, but look at this. Look at all of this. All the front wing changes that you're gonna see here. Latifi, Ilo, Perez, Mazepin, uh, Ricardo there on lap four. At the end of lap four, beginning of five. Sonoda. Um, Giovinazzi, Leclerc, oh, I think, and there's so, so many wing changes. I, I counted it, you know, when I was going through this, I counted it. There was 28 front wing changes in this race total. 28. 28. 28. What a race. What, what even was that race? It was a, what a way to end the season.